Hello, pot stickers. Hail Satan. I know you're looking for ways to use my shredded Satan that I showed you how to make from washing flour. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll put a link right up here and also down in the description. Today I'm going to share how I use it to make a shredded seitan chicken barbecue wrap with coleslaw. It's going to be fantastic. I'm going to show you how I do this all from scratch, but you can certainly use your favorite commercial barbecue sauce. Okay, let's start with the barbecue sauce. I usually make mine on the fly from whatever I have around in the pantry. Barbecue sauce is a really touchy subject because there are regional differences around the country that people are just crazy about and they are they will fight you tooth and nail to tell you what the best one is. Frankly, I like them all for different reasons. You've got your North Carolina vinegar sauces, your South Carolina mustard sauce, and of course the Kansas City sweet and smoky tangy sauces. And then there's Texas, which is a whole nother type of barbecue sauce. It's usually kind of a thinner liquid that's used to mop their barbecues as they're cooking them in the barbecue pits. Now today for my shredded seitan chicken wrap, I'm looking for a sauce that's gonna be sweet and tangy, a little bit spicy, and lots of tomato, because I really like a tomato heavy sauce with chicken. And besides, that's what I'm in the mood for. So let me show you how I threw together my barbecue sauce. Into a pot, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of brown sugar, three ounces of tomato paste, one pint of tomato sauce because I have my homemade jarred tomato sauce. You can certainly use a standard can of tomato sauce if you want. I want some tanginess, so I'm adding a good four tablespoons of rice vinegar to this. You could use whatever vinegar you have on hand. For some salt and umami, I'm adding one tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm adding one tablespoon of Maggi seasoning. That's gonna give it that meatiness and umami also. I'm adding one tablespoon of maple syrup. This is gonna add a little bit more sweetness and a little complexity. And ketchup, yes, ketchup works well in barbecue sauce. It's got some sugar in it, it's got some tomato in it, it's got some spices in it, and I'm adding two tablespoons of ketchup to this. In goes one teaspoon of a spicy mustard. My homemade spicy mustard is really spicy. If you want more mustard, yours isn't quite as spicy, go ahead and add as much as you want. For more flavor, I'm adding one tablespoon of onion powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of smoked paprika to give some smokiness to this barbecue sauce. For some heat, I'm using half a tablespoon of some hot chili powder. You could use cayenne or whatever your favorite chili powder is. I'm adding a half a teaspoon of salt and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. You wanna mix this well and simmer it until it's reduced to the consistency that you want for your barbecue sauce. I want this to reduce to about half because I do have quite a bit of liquid from my tomato sauce in here. So I'm gonna cook this for about 30 minutes or so. Here's my sauce after simmering for about 30 minutes. I've stirred it occasionally along the way. It's thickened nicely and it'll thicken even more when I cook it with my shredded seitan. Now to make the actual barbecue seitan, it's really easy. I'm gonna take a saute pan, heat it up on a stove over medium high heat, and add about a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Into that goes some sliced onion. This was about half of a large onion that I'm using here. You wanna saute those down until they just start to become softened. I'm not looking for any kind of caramelization here, just to get them softened and cooked. Then in goes your shredded seitan. You wanna saute this for four or five minutes until it starts to get some browning on the seitan. You don't want it to get charred necessarily, you just want it to get nicely browned. And then you wanna add your sauce. Don't use all the sauce from my recipe because it would be too much sauce. I'm adding about one cup of sauce here. I'm gonna check this to see if it's enough sauce as we go. I want in the end to have the chicken all nicely coated and I don't want it too liquidy, but I don't want too much sauce that all you have is barbecue sauce. You want some texture from that shredded seitan. Keep stirring and sauteing this until the sauce tightens up and you have everything heated through. The chicken should be tender and juicy without a lot of saucy liquid left. You want to be careful not to overcook this because you don't want that sugars in that sauce to burn, so watch it carefully. If it does get too dry, you can always add in a little bit of water just to loosen it back up. Now for the wrap, I'm using a large-sized flour tortilla that I made myself. You can use a tortilla or your favorite wrap from your local store, of course. You don't have to make your own. I'm just crazy that way. Actually, I like a large size tortilla, sort of the burrito size tortillas, and I just don't seem to find them easily in my area, so I tend to make them myself when I want them. If you'd like me to make a video showing how I make my flour tortillas, leave a comment down below and let me know. To assemble the wrap, just place a portion of the barbecued seitan near the edge that you're gonna start rolling it from. You don't want it in the middle of the wrap. Add some coleslaw. I'm using my homemade, no mayo, tangy tahini coleslaw. If you want that recipe, take a look at this video. Feel free to use whatever your favorite coleslaw recipe is. I'm sure it'll be delicious. When I make my wraps, I like to fold the sides in first and then wrap, pulling the ingredients in tightly to make a tight wrap and roll it up. 
And here you have it, a delicious barbecue seitan wrap. Believe me when I tell you these did not last long. We devoured them quickly. This is just one of the ways that I use my seitan shreds. They are so versatile and there's a lot of things you can do with them. I'll be bringing you more recipes using this soon. How do you like to use your washed flour seitan? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Give this a thumbs up if it was helpful for you and we'll see you next time as the pot thickens. And that's a wrap, pun intended. <laughs>